I trust you've all brought your appetites. Chef Hope's been working hard all day. Mmm, this is so good, Mrs. Better Mom. You're eating the flower arrangement. Wow. Uh, Krug, Aga, what can we offer you? Ah, uh, we're good. Yeah, we ate a little something on the way over. <coughs> Oops, pardon me. Uh, okay. Oh, look! Oh. Guy and Don are here, together. <laughs> you good to do this? Just try to keep your giant hand out of sight. Gotcha. <laughs> Welcome, Eep. Your seat is over here, next to... Gran. We're not done. You called me a cave girl. But you, you, you are a cave girl. Well, you said cave girl like it's a bad thing. What's wrong with cave people, guy? There's nothing wrong with cave people. Can I get you a towel or a utensil or something? I'm good. Why are you acting like this? I'm just acting like a cave girl, guy. But I guess that's not good enough for you anymore. I never said that. Grug, let's take this moment to talk about your great idea. Uh, what? Grug felt, and I concurred, that Guy should be with his kind of people. Evolved people. And Eep should stay with her kind. So we made a deal. Say again? What deal? His deal! Your idea. Your idea? Guy stays with us, and Eep stays with her pack. Grug's words, not mine. You tried to get rid of me? Really, Dad? No, honey, I don't think that. I mean, he made me think that I thought that. He tricked me. He took me into a stupid secret man cave, <clears throat> and he tricked me. What's a man cave? It's a place I go to get away. Away from what? Away from you! Duh! What? We're all thinking it. How dare you? How dare you? How dare the both of you? <gasps> You're trying to fix me up with guy? What happened to your hand? Oh. I got stung by a bee. Outside the wall. <laughs> you went outside the wall? Outside the wall? This is all your fault. Oh, our fault? Can I say something? No! Okay. I can't believe you actually made that deal. What'd they do to you? I got scars. Our baby! It was really hot. I was full of shark milk. I was naked! Why, Phil? Why? Because privacy promotes individuality, unofficial motto. Well, kiddo, looks like we all have something to hide. <laughs> That's it. Come on, guy. We're leaving. Wait, hold on a second. First, you wanted to get rid of me, Krug, and now you want me to come with you? You were trying to take my daughter away, promising my baby girl butterflies and babbling brooks. Ah, uh, ha! You see? I knew you were listening. There is no privacy with you people. Oh, you mean cave people? Not what I said. Positives, Eep. That's all I'm saying. Lots of things here are better. Better? Like not starving? No sleep pile? What's wrong with the sleep pile? Oh, come on, Eep! The sleep pile reeks! Reeks of love! Well, at least I smell like me. <laughs> I don't even know what you smell like. Flowers and soft rain. I don't even know who you are anymore. With your vanilla and your stupid neck rock. It's this place. This place is home. This place is home. Home? This is the place my parents wanted me to find. This is tomorrow. Well, clearly, I don't belong in this tomorrow. I'm leaving. Are you coming with me? I, um... I can't. Then I guess we have two different tomorrows. Eep. <laughs>